It's 932. The vaccine rate is climbing with more than half of U.S. adults getting at least one dose of the COVID-19 vaccine. This is the rollout now includes teens, Emory Young Teens. Emory University's Dr. Neil Winower joins us live with the latest on this. Good to see you, Dr. Winower. Good morning. Likewise, Elise, good morning. Okay, so last week we saw the FDA grant emergency use authorization for the Pfizer vaccine in kids 12 to 15. So how's the rollout in that age group going? It's been great so far. Over 600,000 adolescents ages 12 to 15 have been vaccinated. And what's going to be really interesting going forward is to see whether it mirrors the adults or whether or not we still will have robust vaccination on in, into the summer. Hopefully it will be the latter. But just to review, this vaccine in kids in this age group is first and foremost very safe, but also even more effective than in adults. The immune response is even more robust and none of the kids in the treatment group got sick uh, in terms of severe infections. All the severe infections were in the placebo group where the kids did not get the vaccine. Okay, so that is good to see and good to hear. So last week, Dr. Winner, we reached a milestone of 60% of Americans receiving at least one dose of the COVID-19 vaccine, but vaccination rates across the U.S., they, they're really uneven in several states, largely in the Northeast, vaccinating, you know, 70%. And then we, we look in other states, mainly in the South, where it's under 50%, including here in Georgia. So should this be a concern? Uh, I, I think so. You look at these examples, one for is like Vermont, take Vermont, over 78% of adults have been vaccinated thus far. But in Southern states like Mississippi, it's under 45%. Here in Georgia, we're one of the 10 worst performing uh, states. Uh, and it's also interesting when you look county by county, a lot of within the state, counties may really vary. And the reason why that's a concern is that it could potentially create pockets of hotbed areas and, and, and infections and that's a, a, a real a real concern for for all of us because the virus is going to try to find new people to infect and when it does it multiplies and when it multiplies it mutates and when it mutates it potentially becomes more difficult to treat and we've seen variants that potentially may be challenging and difficult so we don't want to create any new variants and hot pockets of infections within the states we're doing great we want to keep the momentum going and mm -hmm. be able to squash this thing so that it's not flaring up time and time again Dr. Winnower, you're so great about answering questions. I've gone several times to check out your, your Instagram page and, and you post some great stuff. How can we find it? How can we reach out to you if we have some questions we'd like answered? Absolutely. You can find me at Neil Winnower. Still don't have the, any exciting handles, but that's okay. <laughs> and uh, But just reach out. The questions are always really very helpful, uh, very informative, and I'm happy to help. Uh, every day I get questions and uh I'm just happy to be able to provide answers when there are any to be had. Sure, that's a thing. Hey, we appreciate you, Dr. Winterwer. We hope you have a good week, and we'll see you right back here next Monday. Well, maybe. Oh, actually, it's I, Memorial Day. I, I actually am going to be in California for my niece's wedding. Shout out to Ariel. So oh. you may not see me uh, on Memorial Day, but uh, happy Memorial Day in advance to everyone. But I'll be back soon. Deal. Okay. Thanks, Dr. Winterwer. We appreciate it.